Max Verstappen was the big winner of the Dutch Grand Prix, in a race that had it all, unpredictable weather conditions and dramatic moments. It was Verstappen's ninth consecutive victory, reaffirming his championship lead. Fernando Alonso came in second place and Pierre Gasly in third, following a five-second penalty for Sergio Perez. The race began with the threat of rain on the horizon and, as soon as the drivers set off for the formation lap, the first drops began to fall. Verstappen maintained the lead at the start, with Lando Norris in second and Alonso in third, overtaking George Russell. However, heavy rain soon hit the circuit, creating dangerous conditions. Several drivers, including Perez, Zhu Guanyu, and Gasly, opted to pit for intermediate tires. During the track drying, Perez spun in the corner and Verstappen took the opportunity to take the lead. Shortly after, Logan Sargent suffered a car failure and collided with the barriers, leading to the deployment of the safety car. The race restart only occurred on lap 22, with Verstappen again in the lead. Verstappen led the race until the arrival of new rain, which forced the drivers to change tires again. Perez was penalized for speeding in the pit lane and lost third place to Gasly. In the end, Verstappen crossed the finish line first, followed by Alonso and Gasly. A race full of action at the Dutch Grand Prix, with Verstappen showing his skills in adverse conditions and securing yet another impressive victory. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening dear listeners of F1 Motor Fever Podcast. I'm Enzo, coming to you straight from London, with the latest news from the world of Formula One. Beside me is the sharp and eloquent Mr. William from Birmingham, always ready to offer his precise analysis and valuable insights. Here on our podcast, we keep you updated with everything happening in the motorsport scene, daily, at noon and 4 o'clock. So, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications and share with friends, it really helps us out. Right, William? Absolutely, Enzo. And don't forget to leave your comments, we love to hear what you're thinking. That's right, William. And today, I have news that will make everyone's hair stand on end. The race at the Dutch Grand Prix was simply amazing. I won't reveal everything now, but I can say there was plenty of action, strategy and, of course, breathtaking moments. We chose this news because it represents the heart of Formula One, the passion, the excitement and the unexpected. So, if you're a speed lover, you're in the right place. Foot down. Hold on. Here we go. Felipe Vicente, hit the jingle. Continuing, Verstappen really put on a show on the Zandvoort track, winning the Dutch Grand Prix in mixed conditions, following a final restart due to a red flag. With the rain hitting during the start and end of the race, the Red Bull driver secured his ninth consecutive victory. Alonso grabbed the second position, followed by Gasly, who ended up promoted to third place due to a five-second penalty imposed on Perez. An interesting fact is that, before the lights went out for the start of the race, the drivers reported raindrops on their visors. This certainly added a pinch of uncertainty and excitement for everyone. And speaking of excitement, I don't know if you know, but, among us, there are rumors circulating in the paddock that Perez might have been a bit negligent in preparing for the rain, which helped Verstappen to extend his lead. Maybe that's why Perez received that penalty, eh William? Ha ha ha, Enzo, we know that half the fun in Formula One is the paddock gossip, but I think we can't be so quick to make insinuations. The race was complex and every decision made by the drivers was crucial for the final result. We can't say that Perez's penalty had anything to do with his preparation for the rain. That would be, at the very least, speculation. But, of course, in the world of Formula One, anything is possible. The race really was exciting, with an ending worthy of a movie script. We even saw a rather controversial decision from race control ordering all drivers to use intermediate tyres for the race restart. And most impressively, Verstappen managed to maintain his lead until the end, even with the intense pressure from Alonso and Perez. Yes, Enzo, and that's exactly where I want to point something out. Of course, Verstappen had a brilliant race, but I think we also need to recognize Alonso's skill in dealing with adversity. He managed to finish in second place, even after having a slow pit stop and falling to fifth place. Ah, William, I see what you're saying but I think Verstappen deserves more credit. 
He maintained the lead in extremely difficult conditions and won even with the intense pressure from Alonso and Perez. Yes, I'm not taking away from Verstappen's merit, Enzo Watts. But I believe that merit should not only be attributed to the winner. After all, all the drivers had to deal with the same track conditions. And in that respect, I think Alonso was extremely resilient and showed why he is considered one of the best drivers on the grid. Hum, I see your point, William, but I still think Verstappen deserves more spotlight. But, for sure, I'll think more about it. And that's the beauty of the sport, Enzo, is that we can see the same race from different perspectives. It's important to keep an open mind and listen to different opinions. This helps us to better understand the sport and to value even more the incredible performances we see on the tracks. No doubt, William Turner. I'll keep that in mind when watching the next race. Even after all these twists and turns, Oscar Piastri and Esteban Ocon managed to finish in the points, with rookie Liam Lawson crossing the finish line in 13th position. But it's interesting to note that, despite all the excitement and uncertainty that the rain brought to the race, in the end, the names we expected to see at the front were still there. That's very true, Enzo. In the end, the experience and skill of the veteran drivers really shone through. But it's also important to remember that each race is an opportunity for the rookies to learn and improve. Lawson, for example, despite finishing in 13th, gained invaluable experience. No doubt, William. And that's what makes Formula One so exciting. Each race is a new story with its own challenges and surprises. And despite all the twists and turns and changes, in the end, it's the most talented drivers and the best prepared teams that stand out. Exactly, Enzo. And that's why we're always looking forward to the next race. Because, regardless of what happened in the last race, we know that the next one always has something new and exciting in store for us. William, what's the buzz on social media about today's race? Well, Enzo, the debate is heating up. User, Oberspeed, commented, Max Verstappen wins the 2023 Dutch Grand Prix. Um, and what were the reactions to Verstappen's victory? Well, user, SF underscore and OOM, seems to have been upset with AlphaTauri's strategy for Tsunoda. If I were Tsunoda, I'd simply hand down the entire AT strategy department for sport. Imagine doing almost 50 laps on soft tyres. Well, it seems that Tsunoda didn't have much luck with the team's strategy. Yes, Enzo, and user, Jams204, agreed, the guy had a bad weekend, penalty for obstruction, bad strategy and then what happened at the end of the race. And what are internet users saying about Lawson's debut? Well, user M underscore zero Tyon praised his performance, Lawson P13 good effort from him, a surprisingly good race too. And user Shave Papaya agreed, very impressed with him on his debut. It wasn't an easy race to debut in, and he stayed alive and finished in a decently high position. Looking forward to seeing more of him in F1 in the future. It seems that Lawson made a good impression on his first Grand Prix. Any other interesting comments about the race, William? Yes, Enzo, user, Hack874, praised Sainz's defense at the end of the race, great defense from Sainz at the end. And user, LuNIK7505, agreed, for real, Lewis was incredibly close. Well, it seems that the race was quite exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing what's next in Formula One. Thank you, William. And that concludes another episode of our F1 Motor Fever podcast. Thank you all for tuning in today. We've discussed a lot about the past race, about the twists and turns, the highs and lows. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast, turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Share, comment, your participation is very important to us. That's right, Enzo. And don't miss the next episode, we always have interesting topics to discuss. We're here at noon and 4 o'clock, every day. Always with fresh content for you. And ah, something really cool is coming up, stay tuned. True, William. And we here at F1 Motor Fever Podcast couldn't fail to thank our amazing technical team. A special shout out to Felipe and Vicente, who make all this happen. Exactly. They are the real heroes behind the cameras. We're already looking forward to the next episode, and you should be too.
So that's it, folks. Remember, pedal to the metal and eyes on the track, our channel always wins the race. Until next time. Until next time, folks. Hit the jingle, Felipe.